Okay guys, for today, we will be continuing with our job order costing discussion. We will be focusing on the journal entries. Let's start with our example. The following activity took place during the month of March. Number 1. Raw materials purchased worth 35,000. Our entry would be debit raw materials inventory, credit accounts payable. Now remember, if the problem is silent as to in what mode are we going to pay for your inventory, the assumption would be it is on credit. So we use accounts payable as our account title. Number two, raw materials all direct requisition for use in production 34,500. The entry would be debit work in process inventory, credit raw materials inventory for 34,500. So as you can see, because all of the raw materials are direct, we already use work in process inventory as our account title. Now, when we say requisition, it means that from our warehouse, we will be transferring our materials into production because they will be used in order to make our product. Number three, salaries and wages costs incurred are as follows. Direct labor cost, 39000 Indirect labor cost, 13000 And sales salaries, 20000 How do we record our salaries? The direct labor cost will be recorded as work in process inventory of 39000 Our factory overhead will be recorded 13000 which is our indirect labor. And our sales salaries will be recorded as sales salaries expense for 20000 And our credit would be salaries and wages payable, 72000 Because the problem is silent as to if we already paid for the salaries and wages. Number four, depreciation on factory equipment is 12,000. Usually, our entry for depreciation is debit depreciation expense, credit accumulated depreciation. However, because this pertains to factory equipment, our entry would be debit factory overhead actual, which is 12,000, and credit accumulated depreciation, which is 12,000. Number five, factory utility costs incurred total 7,500. The entry would be debit factory overhead actual, and credit utility is payable 7,500. Number six, factory overhead is applied to jobs at a rate of 200% of direct materials used. So in here, as you can see, we will estimate our factory overhead because it is not yet the end of the period. We do not know yet our total factory overhead actual. So we will estimate it. In here, in the problem, it is given that we use 200% of direct materials used. How are we going to compute that? That is materials used, which is 34,500 times 200%, we will arrive at a figure of 69,000. The entry would be debit, work in process inventory, credit applied factory overhead 69,000. Remember, the normal balance of our applied factory overhead is credit. Number 7, advertising expense incurred is 40,000. The entry would be debit advertising expense 40,000 and credit advertising payable 40,000. This will be classified as your selling or distribution cost in your income statement. Number eight, the cost of goods manufactured totaled 160,000. We will transfer it from work in process to finished goods. So the entry would be debit, finished goods inventory, and credit work in process inventory for 160,000. After which, cost of goods sold totaled 158,000. Your finished goods, we will transfer it to your cost of goods sold. So the entry would be debit, cost of goods sold, credit, finished goods inventory, 158,000. So as you can see after we have computed our cost of goods sold and made our entry let us now adjust your cost of goods sold for your overhead so we will compute for the over under applied factory overhead remember that the actual is on the debit side and the applied is on the credit side so we plot it there using our illustration problem number three is 13,000 we'll go to the actual side and we'll go to the credit side which is 69,000 and then we also have problem number four which is 12,000 for the actual overhead and problem number 5 which is 7,500 for the actual overhead. We get the total. The total actual is 32,500 and the total applied is 69,000. We get the difference and we will arrive at 36,500 which is over applied. As we have discussed in the previous video, in order for us to adjust your over applied factory overhead, we will debit your applied factory overhead and credit your cost of goods sold. 
load. So we need to deduct because our estimation is greater than the actual incurrence of overhead. The entry would be debit applied factory overhead for 37,500 and credit cost of goods sold for 37,500. At the end of the period, the applied factory overhead should be put into zero. So it should be closed out. So our thought for the day would be after all, a job isn't worth doing unless you enjoy it by Dina Sheridan. So I hope you learned something from our video today and keep on learning. Good day guys!